Brad Messler along with my partners Kirk Herb Street and Lee Corso. Not a great forecast. Wind and rain for today's game between the Iowa Hawkeyes and the UCF Knights. Well, we hope you're as excited as we are for this one. And here come the Knights. The Knights are coming into this game looking for the upset. What are your thoughts, Kurt? UCF has spent all week trying to figure out how they're going to slow this running back down. Really? In my opinion, they could have spent all year. It still won't matter. He's going to have a big day and a big win. Nice pick, Kurt. Hawkeyes all the way. Ready to open this one up as they line up for the opening kick. And this one's away. Marshall takes it to 15. So now we'll get to see the offense come out of the field for their first drive of this game. Well, folks, lining up at halfback is a very, very special player. You bet, Brad. This kid has a great combination of speed and power. He'll be the focal point of this offense. If the defense can't contain him, he'll be in for a long day. Yeah, this kid is talented, but you know what, Kirk? I talked to the middle linebacker yesterday at the hotel, and he said this back wasn't going to get 50 yards against them. Wow, those are big words, Coach. We'll have to watch to see what happens. They line up at the 28. Second down, eight yards to go. The Knights line up with a single setback. Tackle for a loss. And that was a good stop by the defense. They got him in the backfield. That's a great example of quickness by the defensive line. It allows you to break away from those blockers before they have a chance of moving you away from the play. It's third and nine. They come out with three wide receivers. Moves up in the pocket. Over the middle. And he pulls it down. That's the first down right there. Yeah, if I was a defense, I think I would man up on these guys next time. This quarterback is very good at recognizing zone coverage and then finding the open receiver. It's first and ten. Central Florida lines up in a double tight set. White gets the call again. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 46-yard line. Going with the shotgun here. Back to pass. With the throw. Greenway brings him down at the 49-yard line. That'll be a gain of three yards. The defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. It's a direct snap. And he stopped behind the line. Not a very successful run that time, folks. Did you see his explosion off the defensive line? Woohoo! It seemed like he was in the backfield before the ball was even snapped. He just timed the snap count there and really made a nice play. Central Florida, ready to put this one away. Mohammed is back to receive. He gets it off. Mohammed fields it at the 22. The defense did its job to open the game, and now it's the offense's turn. The offense will take over at the 27th. Iowa goes with the ace set here. Drops back to pass. Number 12 lets it fly. Tackle at the 38-yard line. Nice little pitch and catch with a wideout. The quarterback and receiver spend a lot of time together. The coaches say they stay after practice, just working on their timing, and right there it paid off. First and 10. Ball on their own 38. Number three lines up in the deep back. Eye formation. There's a missed tackle. Off balance throw. Incomplete pass. That one's just too hot to handle. Yeah, the quarterback might want to think about taking a little bit off his passes in those situations. From their own 38-yard line. Second down. The Hawks are lining up with three receivers. 
Here's the give. He's tackled at the 48. Ten yard pickup on the play. Third down. Number three, the lone back. Third and short and they hand it off. And he's tackled at the 49. He didn't get much, but he got enough for the first down. Well, that's really all they wanted there was to pick up the first down and get a fresh set of downs and continue to move the ball downfield. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 49. Number three is the single setback. Rolling out to the right side. He wants it all going long. It falls incomplete. Cook was the intended target on the play. That'll make it second down. It's second down. Nice play fake. Let's it go. And it's caught. They'll bring him down at the 38. They pick up a few yards there on the pass. And I'll tell you what, that fake handoff froze the secondary just enough to allow for the receiver to come up with a nice gain that time. Good call. First, First down. Ball on the 38-yard line. Number 12 with three wide receivers. Look at the throw. He gets sacked on the play. It's second and long. This is the eighth play of this drive. Iowa comes out of the shotgun. He's looking to pass. He's going left. And they tackle him. That was a nice play. You know, we talk about this every week, adjusting to the blitz. The quarterback and the receiver do an excellent job of recognizing the blitz and adjusting to the play. Good looking pass. First and 10. They're in the red zone. Iowa goes with the ace set here. He throws left, but, and he's tackled right away. Good pick up by the receiver. Yeah, this kid loves the play. He wants the ball every time they throw it up. It's first and goal. Ball on the five-yard line. Let's see if they can punch this one in. He got a lot of jersey on that play. Not too much argument about this call. He looked like he had a handful of jersey on that one. You know, you can get away with a little holding, but hey, you can't do that. They're threatening inside the 20. They come out with three wide receivers. Avery will make the sack. the 11th play of the drive. The Hawks line up with three wide. Number 12, unload. Hairston picks it off. There's a flag on the play. First down. Looks to pass. He passes it. Got it to the senior. And he's taken down at the 35. Three yards there on the play. Welcome everyone, Brad Nessler here for EA Sports with my co-host Kirk Herbstreet and the coach, Lee Corso. We're supposed to see a good deal of rain come our way for the Northwestern Wildcats and the Texas El Paso Miners. We hope you're ready for an action-packed game of NCAA football. 
And here come the Miners. The Miners may be overmatched and could have an ugly game on their hands. Any thoughts, Kirk? Northwestern should win big, and chances are, because of their passing game, they're going to be able to make some big plays downfield. We're looking at one of the best receivers in the nation, and that's why this team is so tough to beat. I'm just not going to agree, Kirk. I'll guarantee it. I'm picking a wild thing. Northwestern is ready to open this one up as they line up for the opening kick. He sends it off. Stevenson fields it at the seven. So now we'll get to see the offense come out of the field for their first drive of this game. Well, folks, you're in for a treat today. Taking the field for this offense is a very, very talented running back. This offense really thrives on him getting things going on the ground. But, Brad, it's not going to be easy today. He's going up against a very tough run defense. Yeah, this defense has been watching film of his playmaking running back all week. They're up to the challenge, and if they shut him down, it can ultimately decide the outcome of this game. From their own 30-yard line, second down. Foster, the lone back. Joseph is sacked. From their own 28-yard line, third down and 12 to go. The offense lines up with three wide receivers. Looks, throws it out there, catches it. Childress with a takedown at the 49. Good job of attacking the coverage to keep the drive alive. That was a great looking pass to move the sticks on third down. From the 49 yard line, it's first down. Three wide outs here. Joseph back to throw. Throws it to the outside. That close to being intercepted. Carey was the intended receiver on that pass. So that'll make it second down. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. Joseph steps back to pass. Falling back as he throws. Bonner was the intended target on the play. That'll make it third down. This defense faces another third down. The Miner come out in a shotgun. Joseph drops to throw. Joseph with a bullet to the left. So fourth down coming up. And give credit to the defense there. They played very disciplined and were able to break up the pass. The Miners are lining up to punt it away. Thomas, the return man. He punts this one high in the air. Robertson fields it at the two. The offense heads out onto the field for the first time. And with their defense forcing the punt, it allows them to have a shot at getting the first points on the board. They'll go to work at the two. I doubt they'll take any chances here. Here's the give. And down he goes at the six. Four-yard gain by the back. It's second down and six to go. The Wildcats have five receivers on this play. Short draw, and that one's incomplete. Bates was the intended receiver on that pass, so that'll make it third down. We've got a third and six. Ball on the six-yard line. The Wildcats are lining up with three receivers. Over the middle. And it's incomplete. Excellent series by this defense, forcing them to go three and out. It's third and four. Number three, back in the gun. Anderson takes it right side. Tackle made at the 44. 
They had a moderate amount of yards to gain, and they'll end up a foot or two shy. Yeah, the defense closed up that hole just in time. Northwestern lining up the punt. Kid is waiting for the snap. Kid punts it away, and this is just a beauty. Great kick. What do you expect from this offense at this point, fellas? A field goal is out of the question here. This offense needs to get the ball into the end zone. Yep, this is four down football, and there is not much time left in the game, so this will be most likely their last chance to score. The Miner line up with four wideouts. Throws. Excellent open field tackle. He caught it, but the reward was minimal. I don't know, Brad. I don't know what the quarterback saw, but hey, at least it wasn't a sack or an interception. From their own 23-yard line. Second down. Texas El Paso lines up with a shotgun set. Throws down the middle. Couldn't haul it in. He couldn't hang on to that one, guys. Well, I can't blame him for dropping that one. Did you see how hard that ball was thrown? Wow. Well, I can't argue with this decision. Here are our players of the game. Three wideouts here. Joseph set to go to the air. Joseph fires. Someone got a hand on it. And that makes it fourth down. Boy, great defense on that play. They were expecting the pass, and they defended it very well by getting a hand in there to break up the play. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. Joseph, back to pass. And he's hit as he throws. Not much of a chance on that one. Well, they had to go for it. We're at a point where there's not much time left, and you got to put it all on the line. They'll set up shot at the 23. From the gun. Here's the give. Tackled for a loss. Northwestern will take a timeout, and they'll have two remaining. Second and 11. Ball on the 24-yard line. Number three. Lines up in the shotgun. They hand it off again. They'll get him for a loss. The Wildcats call for a timeout. That was their second timeout. From the 26-yard line, it's third down and 13 to go. The Wildcats come out the shotgun, drop back to pass, and it's intercepted. That interception breathes new life into this team. I'm not quite sure I would have made that pass. It obviously wasn't open. This quarterback's got to be more conservative with the ball when they have the lead late in the game like this. They'll start at the 21-yard line. They line up in the shotgun. First down, look at the throw. He throws right. Got it to his receiver. Great play to keep his feet in and get the first down. It takes tremendous concentration and field awareness to make a play like that. And the quarterback put him in the place where only his receiver could catch it. Nice throw. From their own 38-yard line. First down. Joseph drops back to pass. Flanagan bats it down. Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads-up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. That'll make it second down. They line up at the 38. Second down, 10 yards to go. The Miners come out showing three wide. Steps up in the pocket. He zips one over to the right. And he's got him on the run. The defense looked a little lost on that one, Kirk. Yeah, they did, Brad. Nice recognition here by the quarterback to see that confusion and take advantage of it. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 39. Joseph, back to throw. Let's it go. Great coverage, and it's intercepted. And he's tackled at the 42-yard line. That turnover will probably do it for this team. Boy, when it comes to last-minute drives, it seems like we see more and more turnovers because you're trying to hurry up, and some players just aren't on the same page with everybody else.
everybody. Brad Nessler here with Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit bringing you today's exciting matchup. Clear skies and just beautiful weather here for tonight's game between the LSU Tigers and the Clemson Tigers. We hope you're ready for an action-packed game of NCAA football. And here come the Tigers. The Tigers have been looking forward to this matchup all week. Kirk, what are your thoughts on this game? LSU will have one of the best defensive players in the nation on display here. You rarely see a linebacker that can do the things that this young man can do. If you don't know him yet, you soon will. Yo, Kirk, you stole my pick. I'm taking LSU. Both teams are lining up for the kickoff, and we're just about set to get this one underway. He sends it off. Number seven takes it at the eight. Now let's see what kind of success this offense can have as they come out onto the field for the first time today. One of the reasons I've been looking forward to this game is to see this safety play. Watching him live is probably much better than watching him on TV, don't you think, guys? This kid is a great defensive back. He's a vicious hitter. He's a great leader. He's good in pass defense. And when it all comes down to it, he does it all. I think this guy's going to have a big game today. I think we'll see at least one interception from him today. You heard it from Kirk Herbstreit. I like the prediction. LSU lines up with a shotgun set. Short to off. He snags it. So they execute and move a little closer to the sticks. Yeah, completing those short passes is the key because it lulls the defense to sleep a little bit. Then you can launch one big one downfield for a big game. Third and six. Ball on the 35. The Tiger come out showing three wide. Russell back to throw. Complete. And down he goes at the 46. And Herbie, that was a good-looking throw. Yeah, and what impresses me is the composure of this young quarterback. He made a great read, saw the open receiver, and delivered an almost perfect strike. Good-looking play. First, First down, 10 oh, yards to go. Yeah, Russell right. lines up with three receivers on his right. And he's tackled at the 46-yard line. He got back to the line of scrimmage, but not much more. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 46. They'll throw again. Defense hasn't stopped him yet. Caught. Tackle at the 41-yard line. Looks like someone was called for holding. Good call. Yeah, he practically brought him to the ground there. Second and long, ball on their own 44. Russell has trips to the right. Defense looking for his first incompletion this drive, and it falls incomplete. That's just a great defensive play. It won't look like much in the stat book, but that's getting the job done. The offense faces another third down as they line it up. They line up in the shotgun. Looks, Russell passes, it's tipped. Number 13 was the intended target. That's going to bring up fourth down. Four and the Tigers line up to punt. Satil is waiting for the snap. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Hopkins fields it at the 11. The defense did its job to open the game, and now it's the offense's turn. This drive will start at the 11-yard line. The Tigers come out the shotgun. Look out! Backward pass at the fumble. Simmons brings him down for a loss. They nearly gave that ball away. But luckily, that guy was paying attention to what was going on and was able to recover the football. It's second down and 11 to go. 
They'll work from the shotgun. Watson will hand it off. Tackled for a loss. Just nowhere for the ball carrier to go as the linebacker met him in the backfield. Boy, what great play recognition by this linebacker. He saw the run was coming, and he just shot through the gap and made a great tackle. Watson is back in the gun. He steps up, throwing left. Got it! And he's finally shoved out at the 34-yard line. Great play to keep his feet in and get the first down. It takes tremendous concentration and field awareness to make a play like that. And the quarterback put him in the place where only his receiver could catch it. Nice throw. First and ten. The Tiger come out showing three wide. Clark gets a carry right side. There was just no daylight on that play, and the defensive lineman was the reason. Well, that's one way to get involved in the game. Great stop in the backfield. Great. So it's second and ten. The Tiger line up in an eye formation. He's going left. Oh, great catch. How about the height he got on that catch? And he showed great body control. And you know how hard it is to get that high in the air and still have the awareness to make a catch? First and ten. Ball right around midfield. The Tiger come out in the shotgun. Steps up in the pocket. He lets it fly. His receiver has it. What did you see there, guys? The defense was in zone coverage. The offense did a good job of protecting the quarterback, and he threw a nice ball to get the first down. And the receiver ran a nice route to get out between the zone coverage. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 39. Number 23, the lone back. Watson hasn't missed yet. Hit as he throws. Tuttle was the intended receiver on that pass, so that'll make it second down. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 39-yard line. Three wideouts here. They'll throw again. Defense hasn't stopped them yet. The ball is tipped. Excellent job of getting a hand in there to break up the pass. It was, Coach. That one had reception written all over it, but the defender stepped up and made the play. That'll make it third down. Third down and 10 coming up, and this is the ninth play of the current drive. The Tigers line up with three wide. Stepping up, he passes it, and it's caught. They picked up some yards, but it won't be enough to keep those chains moving. They went to the right guy, he just couldn't get away. It's fourth down, and the kicker's on to try this 49-yarder. This will make it a field goal game. It's up, and it is good. He had no problem splitting the uprights with that one, Kirk. Yeah, that one looked like cake for this kid. Chalked up three points for the offense. Two minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. They come out with three wide receivers. Watson with the play fake. Throws it out there. And he brings it down. And a pretty smart call right there. You're absolutely right. The reason why this play worked is that the play action throws the defense just enough to allow the receiver to get open. The Tiger come out the shotgun. He lost the ball. And the defense is on it. This fumble puts him right back into it. You bet it does. Now they've got the football and momentum. They'll take over at the 23. The Tigers line up with three wide. He steps up, and he's hit as he throws. Steven was the intended target on the play, so that'll make it second down. From their own 23-yard line, second and 10. Four wide. Deep pass down the left side. This one is incomplete. They almost got to him that time. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmate. We've got third and ten. Russell lines up with five wideouts. Russell drops back. He throws it. Complete. Williams 
with a takedown at the 29. A gain of six. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. The Tigers line up in an eye formation. Incomplete. This one should be interesting. Pass interference on the defense. Spot foul. First down. He earned that yellow flag, guys. Yep, he worked hard to break up that pass. A little too hard. We've got a first and ten. They come out with four wide out. He throws left. He snags it. Williams with the tackle at the 44-yard line. A seven-yard play. There you have it, folks. They really earned it out there today. Three wide outs here. Russell back to pass. Higgin brings him down at the 49. So they complete that for about seven yards, and they'll pick up a first down. Nice protection, a good pass, and even a better catch. You can't ask for much more than that. First it's ten. first and ten. Ball on the 49. Russell comes to the line with three wide. Throwing right. Complete. And down he goes at the 39. That one worked pretty well. And it's a good job here by the wide receiver to get open. He created good separation from the defense. From the 39-yard line. First down. Number 15 is the deep back as they line up in the eye. Russell set to go to the air. Second down, 15 to go. Ball on the 44. Ace backfield. Russell drops back to pass. And he's hit as he throws. And he is drilled at the 38-yard line. LSU just took their first time out. Now it's third and nine coming up. Ball on the 38-yard line. Russell lines up with five wide out. Steps up, lets it go. Got it to the senior. And they make the stop at the 31. LSU will have one time out remaining. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Russell back to throw. He passes it, and this one falls incomplete. Well, they had to go for it, but they don't make it. Yeah, but I like the call. They needed to do whatever they could to get back. in the world of NCAA football. And here come the Longhorns. The Longhorns are a confident bunch of kids, and rightfully so. Kirk, this team is just too powerful. Texas is so explosive because they try to get the ball into this receiver's hands as much as possible. And what he can do after the catch is what makes him one of the best in the game. And they'll win this game big. I agree with you on this one. There's no way Texas loses...
Texas has the ball teed up, and we're ready for kickoff. He sends it downfield. Dukes takes it to 12. Now we'll get to see how this quarterback can do today as he comes out onto the field for the first time. Well, guys, arguably the best football player on the field today is this kid at linebacker. Brad, even if he isn't the best, I'll say this. He'll have a bigger impact on this game than anyone else on the field. He fires up his teammates, and they look to him to control the running game. Let me add to this. When this guy's on his game, he's a tough player to block. If he has a good game, then this defense will not allow many points at all. Well, he got busted for getting to the receiver too soon. He will get a flag thrown on him every time for a play like that. First down, 10 to go. Joseph lines up in the shotgun. There's a missed tackle. They'll knock him down for a loss. From their own 39-yard line, it's second and 11. Joseph back in the gun. He chucks it downfield. And they couldn't hook up on that one. Calm down, sweetheart. Quit thinking so much and just throw the football. I don't know if he's thinking too much. He just let that pass get away from him. No, no. I can tell when a quarterback is thinking too much. Just take the snap, drop back, and fire it. You're all right if you do that. I promise you. They'll work from the shotgun. Joseph, back to throw. Joseph delivers. That brings up a punting situation. I'll tell you what, this defense did a heck of a job that time to hold them. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He kicks off. Ray fields it at the 17. Hugh is walking off the field now, and the trainers are going to have a close look at him. Some coaches want to say mind over matter, but if you're hurt, you're hurt. Simple as that. Nothing you can do about it. First and ten. Ball on their own 32. They line up in a double tight set. They go with the run, and they got to him before he could get back to the line. A great defensive effort there. And let me tell you, the key to that play was right there in the defensive line. They tied this offensive line up and allowed their linebackers to come up and make a big play. Lee, I agree with you. We always talk about the linebackers and safeties, but credit the big guys up front for that play. They'll get it off here. Brought down at the 35. Four-yard gain by the back. They'll line up at the 35. Third down, seven yards to go. Four wide receivers in the formation. He drops back, rifles it left. This one will fall incomplete. Well, that was an impressive stand by the defense. Three good defensive plays equals punt. Nice job, guys. Texas lining up the punt. Dukes is back awaiting the punt. He gets it off. Dukes takes it at the 23. What do you expect from this offense at this point, fellas? I think the important thing here is to get the ball in field goal range so that the kicker can come in and win the game. I agree 100% with you, Kirk. Move the ball downfield, put the ball in the middle of the field, and let the kicker do the rest of the work. Man, we make it sound pretty easy up here, Coach. This defense looks fired up. Under pressure. He's brought down at the 18. Second and long. From the gun, Joseph drops to throw. Joseph with a bullet. Great concentration. Excellent play as the quarterback found his receiver for a big game. Well, give credit here to the receiver for finding that seam and coming up with a nice gain for the offense. Well, I can't argue with this decision. Here are our players of the game. Joseph with three wide receivers. Rawls on the give. He's taken down at the 39-yard line. 
The offense calls a timeout, and they'll have two remaining. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 39. Joseph lines up in the shotgun. He looks to throw on first down. And he's hit immediately. And they back up three yards on that play. The offense calls a timeout. That was their second timeout. Second down. Joseph comes to the line with three wide. He throws left. He's got his tight end. A nice completion to the tight end. A good play here. And the thing that I notice is that he provides a nice big target out there for the quarterback. It's first down. Joseph with three wide receivers. Comes across the middle. Got his man on the run. And fellas, this is really turning into a very impressive drive. Three first downs and counting on this drive, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building some momentum here. And more importantly, they've kept this defense so on the field. Going to go for it. Why not? First and ten. Ball on the 23-yard line. That'd be a 40-yard kick by Harper. I don't know how good his leg is. We shall see. The Harper. kick is up. Uh, and, and it no sails through the upright. And, and that the gives them the lead. I know that I call kickers head kicks, but this kid isn't going to. It's like he doesn't even feel the pressure. Well, he Match better stop celebrating. The There's still time in the clock, and he has to kick the ball off. Britt gets set to kick this one away. Short kick. He didn't get a hold of that one. Ray fields it at the 19. Guys, what are you thinking at this point in the game? A field goal or touchdown can win it, Coach. And the time is a huge factor at this stage of the game. This should make for an exciting finish. The offense will take over at the 41-yard line. They use four linebackers. Lane steps back to pass. Almost picked off. He just couldn't find the handle. That poor kid looked like he was trying to catch a greased pig. Easy, Scooter. At least he kept the receiver from making a play. From their own 41-yard line. Second down, 10 yards to go. So this is it right here. One last play and one last chance to win the game. If they get the Hail Mary, they'll pull out the miracle win. Unbelievable! Believe it or not, Cleveland University is going to the Sweet 16. This is unprecedented. Empire State made a similar run to the Sweet 16 years ago when they took out Texas in the second round. Cleveland has repeated the feat. Believe it or not, they will face Clemson in the round of 16. Many high-profile schools are not in the Sweet 16, and Cleveland is. Unfreaking believable.